Salutations ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. I do hope you enjoyed the last video of me unboxing a booster box. I um, do apologize for not being able to get around to both of them. It took quite a bit longer than I anticipated as I mentioned a few times in the last video. I also do apologize about the bad audio. I have received a lot of your feedback and I have already ordered a new microphone that will arrive in a few days. From th so from the next video and onwards the sound should be a lot clearer and the audio should improve quite a bit. And yeah, in this video I will be unboxing the second booster box which was uh, promised in the last video. So um, yeah, let's go get to the next booster box. And so we're back guys with this second booster box. In this video I'll try to speed it up a bit more than I did the last time. It went a bit too slow. So this time I will skip fast past the comments, um, possibly just, yeah, rushing it a little bit so it won't be another hour long video, but I had too much fun the last time so it took too long. Um, this time we'll have just as much fun but we'll do it a little faster. So I will follow up with a video on the other um, um, what, what I got in the other box. So a summarize of uh, what was foil, what were rares, etc. In this one we have a foil ethereal hoard. And as you can see, it's quite beautiful. There is no mistakes in this one. Um, I was a bit fast there because we actually got an Ishuran Soul Scryer, which is really nice. I haven't got one of these, and I need it for my um, Idoneth deck. So yeah, that's great. Next one. Kilian and then the Marty. Oh, we are getting a lot of uh, of these uh, I don't know. Uh, Trampling Grunter. This is brand new for me. It's a rare uh, damage to your opponent. How the spells and units are dormant. Aha. Uh -huh. This is potentially really great. We have Little Warg and a Liberator Prime in pretty much perfect condition. And it's pretty as the heavens above. So that's great. Thank you, Booster Box. It's going great. We're making great time. I'm not going on and on. Uh, was this for real, my first chaos? Holy moly. Yeah, okay. Oh, yo, here are, here are the chaos coming, right? Griff Charger Pack, that's another rare. I haven't got one of these. I love these Griff Chargers. Beautiful artwork. Beautiful, just just beautiful. Love it, love it. Spirit Torment, Warp of Courtier, and Righteousness and Foil. It seems like um, this, uh, this box is telling me to build a water deck. Let's see if we get some more chaos, even though I don't really need them, but Achillean. We get some chaos, various. We get some order. Inflicted ter infected terror guys. I be don't believe I have this one. Alright. Rare. Is this this place is kind of one card where you have? Oh yeah, I I played against this one. It's a really good card, really good card. Mm, great. Blessed weapons. We have that one. We got that last one. Search of justice. Didn't didn't I already get this foil? It's an uncommon. Mm, perfect condition. Very nice. Psyched about that one. And I'm assuming it's 
We're already going four minutes strong. We yeah, have picking up and unaligned. There, there. War call. Another uncommon. That's the first one I got of these. I have like 800 cards now, but this is the first one I got. Great. Reckless Inspiration. Mosh Pit. Another first Mosh Pit. This is really great. I'm very excited to get this one uh, scanned in. And um, yeah, great. Great, great, great. Aspiring Deathbringer. I'm not sure if that's another first, but the Pink Horror Conjurer is not. But it's a first in foil. And this foil is absolutely perfect and beautiful. Yeah, I'm thrilled about that one. So yeah, we are carrying on. No problem. Devour. Hmm. I'm, I, even though it's a common, I'm not sure I had that one. Haven't seen the artwork before, so, you know, really. And the Marty Glory of War. That's only the second one I get of these uncommon. Swift the Marty Reaver. I'm not sure if I have this one, actually. Yeah, it's pretty. I love it. Black Hunger Rare. Hmm. With a courtier something giving some tribute to Nagash, and he looks not too impressed at all. Hmm. That's a beautiful card. Beautiful. Yeah. Skulking Necromancer, Smash and Bash, Seen It, Done It. Ooh, Strike Force Liberator. Oh, that's really nice. They have caught this, um, these, um, these little studs on his helmet and foiled them. That or it scratched in a really, 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 really weird place. All right, here we go. My floor is getting covered with these foil things. Right. Stop strike fulminator. Seen it, seen it, seen it. Glory of War. That's the third one. Now I have three. So that's great. Oh my god, that's a lot of unaligned. Was that three unaligned in one pack? Haven't seen that. Rat Paging Blood Reavers. That's a first. I haven't seen this card before. That's really cool with the lighting around. It almost looked like fire. It could be. Or a sunrise. A red dawn. A blood dawn. Right. Rune Mark does bring up Wanton Destruction. I believe that's a first as well. And Commanding the Dead again in foil. Hmm. Except this one is perfect. This is really pretty. Really pretty. If you watch my other video, you'd, you have seen it, uh, that I got this one before. But uh, the other one, that, yeah, that was a really messed up card. Hmm. It seems that it was just the other box so far. Um, heaven forbid, I jinx it now. Another war call too in one go, and within the first I don't even know a quarter of the pack. Great show of grots. Great claws of the grave. Another rare spell. I haven't seen that one before. Thrilled about that. Might complete my collection by this box. Uh, Morbid Terror. That goes there. Exalted Deathbringer. Yeah, I have like three of these now. That that's that's all right. Restoring the Forge. Another perfect foil. No damages is all. It's an uncommon. Yeah, great. I don't believe I have that one foil. So, well, my hope is that I could potentially get every last one of them in foil. That would be sweet. Swift Namachi Reaver again, an uncommon. Uncommon Blood for the Blood God. Warg Chanter again. I believe I I do believe I have three of them now though. Valkia the Bloody or Valkia. This is a rare champion. I would really like this one in foil. I think she's one of the coolest 
fantasy chicks ever. Mm, Shaman, Berserker like Rage, Walk Infusion. Very nice. I use this in all my decks, as I have already told you in my first video. Um, yeah, I would really like three of these in foil, and it's beautiful. It's really golden and nice. Mm, I enjoy this one. This is really cool. It's it shows off so much detail that you don't see in the in the regular one. I really like that one. Yeah, if you didn't watch my uh, my last video. These will all be sleeved by the end of this this video. I only sleeve the foils now because I'm not risking anything. Yeah, that's that's my third one. Great. We like this one. Um, but I, I but I, but I will be sleeving all my cards. I actually believe that's my first starter. Hmm. It's a such an annoying, annoying card to to play against. It's really good. Really good. Uncommon War Chant, that's my second one. I don't have a lot of these. Crowd Wolf Jerry, that's my third one, I believe. Protect the Prime, yeah, that's in the starter deck. Spell Eater Curse, that's her first. Is that a slan? It is. Cool. An Archaean and some sort of. God Summoner? Yeah, I think so. That's just cool artwork. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong pile. Demonic Fury is the foil with the glowing red eyes and fiery decals. This is really cool. Really cool. I like this one a lot. I I have said said it in my last video, but I'm not a big corn or even chaos guy, but the cards they're really pretty. I have a a thing, I guess, for siege cards. I really like the blues, um, but these uh, these uh, foil. Oh, hungry felbots again. Uncommon. These foil uh, corn ones. They're really pretty. Really pretty. Grot ambush. That's only my second one because it's a rare. I haven't seen it a lot. I actually thought it was a unit in my last uh, video, but it, it's it's an ability, which is pretty cool. Roots of Megabus. Yeah, don't need any more of him. Oh, first one ever, Pennant of Sigmaron. It's a common, but between the 700 something cards I have by now, this is the first one I pull. So, not that common after all. Heroic Act, restart highlighted units, rotate this one step forward. Mm. Blessed Weapons, yeah, we've seen a couple of these in my unboxings. But this is the first one in foil. It has, it has like this long scratch right here. It's kind of weird. Some some of the cards, uh, actually foil or non-foil, they have this uh, like um, like they've been scratched straight out the print. It's kind of weird, I guess. But when all the cards in the pack have it, um, it seems somewhat intentional. Um, I actually did write uh, Play Fusion about it. But um, they said that that was intentional, um, and that was on my um, limited edition uh, Founders Pack uh, Gordrak. So I guess that's just how it goes. Chaos Rune Blade. I don't have a lot of these. I don't believe. Black Hunger. Oh, that's. Oh, that's the one from before. This is really pretty in foil, all silvery and blue. There we go again with the blue. <laughs> Actually, didn't know I liked the blue that much, but apparently I do because this is awesome, and it's a rare, rare foil black hunter. Yes, thank you, thank you, Sigma. <coughs> Pardon me. So, next pack: Long Strike Rapture, Scrying, something pool. Uh, some flesh on devour. Oh, there it was again. So, feast of Mork. I only have one of these, so that's great. Divine vengeance. That's uncommon. We have one of these, I believe. Gore chop of brood. Great card. Uncommon. Yeah. Cool. Servant death. Uncommon. I don't believe I have mo what much more than one of these. So great. Loudmouth mega boss. I really need the. <coughs> Pardon. 
um, the, the big chopper one instead of this guy. I have a ton of this guy. I have, don't have any one of the huge chopper or whatever his name is. Savage loyalty. I have this in foil, so. Spirit torment. Ooh, that's a first. And it's a really cool greenish blue. Yeah, this is more green than blue, I believe. It's like emerald green. Jade even. Ooh. I don't know if the camera picks this up, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really stoked about this one. This is, this is cool. <coughs> That's terrible. Sorry. <coughs> so I mistakenly put a lot of pepper in my food. <laughs> uh, Oryx Gravis, gift of Sigmar. Sigmar. To me, sons of Sigmar, for the Empire. Watch out again. This is like, I believe this is my third one. I'm stoked about that. I do love me some iron jaws, frenzy blood reaver. I don't think I have much more than two of these, so that's that's nice. Big stabber crew, nice. I do like this card. It's really pretty. I do have a penchant for the savage orbs, cowardly grots. This is a rare. I, I think I only have one of these, so. Psyched about that, Lord Veritant. I believe I got one of these in the other pack. Storm's Descent. Hmm. Yeah, so that's great. Cursed Altar, that's a first, I believe. Another almost perfect card, but it has one of these little lines going up. It almost looks like a scratch the entire way. That's weird. Anyways, it's it's pretty, but pretty much only silvery foil. It, it, there's a slight tinge of blue in there, but yeah, uncommon blessing, curses, cursed altar for death. So yeah, that's great. <coughs> Sorry again. Brood smashes, disruptor, pack of blue, brains of war, blood feast. Alopex, nice for my Idoneth deck, charging Black Knight, War Call, that makes it my third one, or fourth, I have enough by now, Prowling Wolf, that's only my second, so that's great, I, as I said in my last video, I do want three of every card in here, but particularly the destruction ones, uh, I am a destruction player at heart, Barrow's White King, I think I only have one of these, if I have any at all, actually. And the same as in the last pack, except this ain't all done in. It has a tiny little nick there, but that that's it. Otherwise, it's completely perfect. Really beautiful. I love these bags. It's kind of sad that I'm sleeving all my cards because I won't get to feel all this nice texture. Um, this to the to the backgrounds, but yeah, I'd rather keep my cards uh, non-sticky and uh, non-flossed in any way. So uh, yeah, commanding the dead. I have a ton of these by now. Ragnar, I have a ton. Brutal I believe that's my third. So that completes the set. Alopex. Ooh, aspect of the sea. That's a first. I do believe that all these I don't have, even though they said common on some of them are quite a bit more rare than the others. It's just a feeling after opening like 700 more, 800 cards or something now. Aspect of the Sea Champion Wizard. While this champion was a spell, any holiday units are dormant. Hmm. Seems... Hmm. I don't know. Beautiful armor on that guy. I'd love to paint this guy. Let me know if you'd like me to paint this guy at some point. This model, you know. Yeah. So, Knight Heraldor, Warboss Recruiter, I play with this guy in all my decks. Ooh, the foil is a green, the foil is a green. The Gaze of Mork. Oh my Gork, that's beautiful. I could look at this forever, but I won't because this is a video for you guys. So, I will just enjoy that in my spare time. So. Onwards to the next pack. Oh my god, Gaze of Mork. By the Gorks above, that's beautiful. 
Sweeping Namarti. That's great. Greenbreast Rebus. I haven't got a ton of these. Walk Chanda. Yeah, I'm about five of these now. Bloody Thirst. I don't have a ton of these. Pain Induced Fury. That's a rare. I believe I haven't seen that one yet, but it's a Slaughter Priest on it. That's for sure. I remember that model. Had it once. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a cool looking card. When you receive damage from a highlighted ally. From a highlighted ally? Hmm. Deal damage to your opponent. That seems really interesting. That could be fun. Here it is in horror. We have a ton of that. Call of Domination. I have this in foil, actually. So, yeah, we're not excited about that. Exalted Deathbringer. Yeah, we've gotten a ton of these in this pack. And the last. But the, this is the first one in foil. And it looks great. With the mark of corn on his forehead in foil and his eyes as well. So in the right light he looks absolutely possessed, which is really nice for a corn um, exalted deathbringer. So yeah. Stoked about that card. Stomping Maw Crusher, Blue Flame, Triumphant Smash. I talked about this in the last video, but this is a really great card. Look it up and you will see why I think so. Star Drake, that's like my second one. I don't believe there's one in the start deck. I might be wrong on this. If you know better, correct me in the comments below. Divine Blast. I don't know if I have this one. Lord Castellan. That's actually... If it's not in the deck, the starter deck, this is the first one I got. That's for sure. I, I can't remember the artwork at all. This is really cool looking with the lantern. Mm. Oh, sorry. There. Don't cast talent. Yeah. And Berserker Rage. Yeah, we got one of these in the last pack, but this one is foiled. And one thing I, I neglected to mention in the other, this is actually the only card I've seen which features a ogre. So that's pretty cool on a Mornfang. So a Mornfang riding ogre. So that's, that's a Beach Claw Raider right there. So that might be something coming. That would be sweet. Heavens above, no, I have something for the ogres. Hmm, this this pack was scratched from the inside. Hmm. Well, the card ain't damaged, so who gives? Ba -ba -da -ba -bam. Spring Pool, Corn's Chosen, Blood Warrior, Berserker. I don't think I have this guy. I remember the miniature though. Frenzy the Wild Guys, Liberator Prime, don't want any more of him, Renew Warlust, meh. Lord of Change in foil. This is really pretty. And it's a great card. It's, it's a very good um, wizard. And it should be because you know, Siege, he is the wizard man. Or God, or God, of Chaos. I know. The little scheming Lord of Chaos. No more unaligned, please. I do not need more unaligned cards. So, yeah. Oh, surprising Skalgas. I, I love this card, but I have enough now. I have enough. I have three. So, Gaunt Summoner. Yeah. I got one of these in the last pack, but... Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God, the foil is beautiful. I do appreciate that the destruction cards, particularly all the the champions with Iron Jaws and all the, just the, the artwork that features Iron Jaws, have a ton of colors. And, yeah, the foil is just perfect. I really love this guy. This is... I'm psyched about this one because I don't have a ton of that guy. I believe this is only my second one, even though it's common. Maybe it's my third one, but it, and at the very least, it, it's my first foil. So, yeah. In this video, I am, um, yeah, picking up the slack from the last one where I did a lot of mistakes by dragging it too long, but. <laughs> Speak of the devil and he shall appear or speak of the Gorkran to bust as it were. So yeah, that's that's gotta be my third one. At least my third one. So a lot of change again. Searing Firestorm. 
That's the one with the Icaon's mount on it. <coughs> Pardon? So, yeah, that's great. We are down to our last three booster boxes, and with. And we are doing it in less than half the time, which is great, 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 great. Comet Strike and Lightning Strike. I don't know if you remember it, but in the last video, I got the same two again, so we're gonna say Strike. Again, this is gonna be a thing now. I'm making it hip. Oh, my third Archaeon non foil. Yeah, again, this is like 14 bucks on the second hand market, and the print is perfect. So, yeah, there's nothing there. I'm gonna sell that guy. Chaos Champion, Hungering Vampire Lord. I do believe I only have one or two of these guys, so this is. Oh, yes. Sweet mama. Issurance, Soul Render, and Foil. Swing, 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 bling. I should add some epic sound effects to these unboxings each time I draw a really nice foil. This one is perfect. Yup. So if you have a favorite card, um, be it either rule-wise or artwork, let me know in the comment section below and I'll, uh, I'll uh, answer you. I will see what you think and I will debate you on it. Maybe not debate you, but maybe I, I will agree. I don't even know. I haven't decided which one is my favorite yet, but show off grabs. This is my third or fourth, but at least I will have guaranteed a complete one of those now. Shrieking Terrorgeist. Nice, nice rare. It's a beautiful model in the miniature range and it's a beautiful card. It, I would like to see this one in foil, actually. This would be cool. But the foil here is a Chaos one. Savage Borbas. Yeah, I have a ton of these. Chaos Champion. I do believe I have more than one of these now. So, in foil. So, I think I have enough to start selling them more. Thick and time. Last booster pack. Please be a green skin in foil. For the love of Gork. Mm. Nope, there's a ton of order in this one. Yup. Searing Light, Judgment Black Knight, Glory of War. Yeah, got that one. Infernal Gateway. I have this one in foil. Bloodthirst of Fury. I don't know if I have this in foil. Oh my lord, the foil is another wanton destruction. But the foil is perfect. Alright, this box had one minuscule error on it. Uh, on, on one uh, foil card, but the other box that was like eighty percent, eighty percent of the the foils in the other box were like pff, not that great. So yeah, I will definitely write play fusion about the other box because that's that's weird. This this box was great. Did get a few of the unaligned, but not as many as in the other box which were a ton, literal, almost literal ton, but one foil, one foil unaligned in the other box. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So, yeah, I will lay out all these cards in another video so we can see how many I got of each um, and make a stack of um, all the cards I will sell. And uh, all the cards I will keep. And then when I hit, if I hit 500 subscribers, I will build a deck. And you will see me build that deck. And I will give it away to one of you lucky gits. And uh, I will send it to you. Free of charge. Anywhere in the EU, in Europa. Or I will also send to the UK. I will consider sending... Uh, to America, but I will have to check up on shipping fees and vats and s stuff like that. So no guarantees there, but I will make a giveaway on a 38 card deck of sleeved perfect condition cards if I hit 500 subscribers. 
and um, I have a little surprise if I ever reach a thousand. We will take that then. Thank you for that. That was it for this unboxing video, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you liked it a lot. If you did like it, please consider leaving that thumbs up as it helps me and my channel out a great deal. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more related content. In the next two videos, I will be shifting focus a bit. I will be making a review of Mantic's Terrain Crate, which is scatter terrain made for miniature games. I will also be making a review of this uh, big lovely black uh, exclusive box from uh, Play Fusion, uh, which is uh, was a limited print, only a thousand made, so that might be interesting for you to see. Um, yeah, going forwards, I do hope the, the audio will be a bit better, uh, seeing as I ordered a new microphone. Uh, if you have any sort of feedback, please uh, comment on my uh, video, and uh, I will take it to heart. I will read that comment, I will respond to you, and uh, I will try and make my videos even better. Um, yeah, and uh, in the immortal words of uh, A.R. Lucas, if you find something that makes you happy, uh, seize it. Because life's too short and uh, happiness is too rare. Enjoy!